In this video, you will learn these key points. Tools required, how to prepare the hydro tapper for completion, pressurizing the equipment stack, equalizing to set the completion plug, and setting the completion pins properly. Welcome to HydroStop University. In this video, we'll walk through the line stop completion process. Our test stand is set up with a 6 inch HSF 250 fitting and a closed temporary gate valve. This is the step in the line stop process where the work is done, the hydro stopper has been removed, and you're ready to complete the line stop. Let's quickly review the tools you will need for this project. A hydro stop hydro tapper, a 19 or 30 inch feed screw and handle, a hydro stop completion depth gauge or a ruler, a 532nd, 316th, 1 quarter, and 516th Allen wrench, a 1516th and a 1 and 1 16th open end wrench, an HSF 250 completion plug, a 27 inch saw mandrel, air or hydraulic drive motor, or optional hydrostop spacer bar, a stop collar, and food grade grease. The first step is to remove the cutter from the saw mandrel. Loosen the pilot bit set screw and remove the pilot bit. Remove and retain the cap screws. Return the cap screws to the saw mandrel when all operations are complete. Remove the cutter from the saw mandrel. Thread the completion plug on the saw mandrel. Place a small amount of food grade grease on the knurled end of the saw mandrel. Slide the saw mandrel into the tapping machine housing. We recommend applying a liberal amount of food grade grease, such as Prima Lube, to the completion plug o-ring. This helps the o-ring seat in the fitting during the completion process. Align the bottom of the completion plug so that it is flush with the bottom of the tapping machine housing. If the completion plug is not aligned flushed with the bottom of the tapping machine, the completion process will not be successful. Lock the saw mandrel in place using the packing nut assembly clamp lever and install a stop collar onto the saw mandrel. Measure and set the bottom of the stop collar to 9.5 inches from the top of the packing nut assembly and then retighten the stop collar. You can also use the HydroStop HSF250 completion depth gauge to set the stop collar in the proper position. Mount the tapping machine on the gate valve. Use all eight nuts and bolts provided with the Hydro Tapper equipment. Grip the saw mandrel, loosen the clamp lever, and lower until the assembly touches the temporary gate valve. Raise it slightly and re-tighten the clamp lever. Install a drive unit or the optional HydroStop completion spacer bar between the feed screw and the saw mandrel. Thread the feed screw through the top of the hydro tapper. If using the air driver spacer bar, use the 19 inch feed screw. For hydraulic drive, use the 30 inch feed screw. Tighten completely and make sure no spaces exist between the feed screw, spacer, and saw mandrel. This assembly should operate as one unit. Ensure the ball valve on the temporary gate and on the hydro tapper are open. Slowly open the gate valve. Equalize pressure on the top side of the completion plug by using the ball valves on the temporary gate and the tapping machine housing. Open the temporary valve completely. Loosen the packing nut assembly clamp lever and start turning the feed screw until the stop collar reaches a distance of approximately 2 inches above the packing nut assembly. You may encounter resistance when the bottom of the stop collar is approximately 2 inches from the packing nut assembly. This indicates that the completion plug o-ring is starting to compress as it enters the HSF 250 fitting. 
Attach the fitting from your equalization source to the temporary gate ball valve. Slowly open the ball valve, allow the pressure to build, and watch the stop collar. As it begins to lower from the pressure, continue to turn the feed screw until the bottom of the stop collar reaches the top of the packing nut. Remove the pin plugs from the fitting flange and store them in a clean, safe location. Tighten the four set pins in the fitting flange to lock the completion plug in place. We recommend using a cross-tightening pattern. Turn each set pin clockwise approximately 8 to 10 turns. Back off one half a turn once the set pin contacts the completion plug. Install the pin plugs back into the flange. Loosen the feed screw three turns counterclockwise and then depressurize and drain the equipment housings. Turn the feed screw counterclockwise and remove the drive unit or the completion spacer bar. Loosen the packing nut assembly clamp lever. Remove the feed screw assembly. Disengage the saw mandrel from the completion plug by turning counterclockwise. Pull the saw mandrel into the tap machine housing. Tighten the packing nut clamp lever to secure the mandrel. Remove the tapping machine from the gate valve. Remove the gate valve from the fitting top flange. Install the blind flange on the fitting top flange. Install and tighten the flange hardware. It's a good practice to clean and inspect your installation equipment prior to storage. It's also a good time to order replacement parts, if necessary, to replace lost, damaged, or worn components. If you have any questions regarding the completion process, please contact your Hydrostop Regional Sales Manager or our Inside Sales Team. Thanks for watching.